I'm Brian House and this is Modern DIY. Today we're going to talk about thinning down water-based paints and primers to spray through an HVLP gun. I get asked a lot about how thin does my paint need to be so I can spray it through our gun. Well that's a very loaded question and today I'm going to show you a super simple way to make that happen. But first we're going to need a few things. You're going to obviously need whatever paint and primer you're going to be thinning down. You're going to need a spare paint bucket. You're going to need a stir stick or a mechanical stir stick. I really like these. You need something to open your paint cans, a cup of water, and a throwaway paintbrush. I'm going to open our paint and primer. Open up our empty can. We're going to add not too much paint, but just some to our empty can. Okay. Now before we start blending in our water, we're going to make sure that this is mixed up really good. Hey, I'd like to take a minute to mention you can find us on Instagram at mod.diy. That's our preferred social media. We update that page almost every day with the projects that we have going on here in the shop. If you want to purchase one of these mechanical stirs for your drill, I'll create a link down in the description so you can find one online. Now let's take a look at our primer. This is Bullseye 123 for all projects. And you can see the thickness but by watching it drop off of the stir stick. You see how it kind of drips just a little bit and then it starts run it's running and then dripping, running and then dripping. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to make this thin enough to the point where we can actually let it run down the stir stick and into the paint bucket in one long stream. That is our goal. So just a little bit of water and we're going to stir it in and see what we get. Okay. And the more you do this, the better at it you'll get. Now don't be nervous while you're doing this because hey, if you water it down too much you can always add more paint. We're getting close. Got a nice stream, but not quite there yet. Still a little dribbly. So we're going to add just a little bit more water. And at this point I'm using a hand stir stick because the mechanical stir stick will whip a whole bunch of air into the paint. We don't want that. All right, you see how that's running off the stir stick like that? Nice and thin. Nice the stream and the stream is making its way all the way down to the bucket. That's it. That's where we want to be. Now that your paint is thinned out, you can pour it through a mesh filter into your HVLP cup. It's important to use a filter so it can remove any big chunks of paint or contaminants that would otherwise clog your tip. One more thing you might want to think about is getting an inline air water separator. I hook mine up to a quick disconnect so when I'm filling my paint cup, it's not too long. All the things I've used today, I have created links down in the description so you can purchase them online. Again, as always, we appreciate you watching. Please hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you can get notified every time we upload a video to YouTube. Have a fantastic day.